the coast of Panama where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Uncharted 1 was one of the most fun video games in the year it was made. The game puts you in the shoes of Nathan Drake who is a treasure hunter on the trail of discovering something big. The game is full of action, adventure, shooting, and lots of mysteries that lie beneath Nathan Drake waiting to be solved. The game is enjoyable for people who like games full of adventure and mysteries. Nate takes on pirates, scales ancient walls, swings from jungle vines, and solves, solves puzzles using clues he finds on this path of revealing secrets that revolve around his ancestor, Sir Francis Drake. Uncharted did what few titles managed. It completely immersed you in its experience. From the moment the game begins with a sweeping camera move through the waters of Panama, a rich, a rich score on the, and the words of Sir Francis Drake etched on the screen, Uncharted will have you hooked. It, it maintained that hold with its story, style, and also gameplay. When it comes to the characters, I would say that Nate is funny during the game, and Sully is lovable as he tells the same tra traveler tales over. Elena is a kind and helpful character. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a... When these characters interact and you watch their relationship grow, you actually feel like you're a part of their circus. Naughty Dog, the company that created the game, went the extra strip when they, when they made unplayable characters like Sully and Elena. Instead, Naughty Dog made them characters that help out Nate, who's the main character of the game. From the first time Elena and Elena and Nate got into a, with a set of pirates, she was alongside our here shooting the bad guys. Mind you, she wasn't softening, softening them up for Drake and she wasn't hiding. She was shooting to death the guys Nate missed. When Sully and Drake were investigating ancient ruins in the heart of the jungle, Drake's former mentor was quick to pull chain levers to open the doors for Nate. That's how the characters were helpful to the main character. You alright? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. I meant this game for people who love adventures and mysteries to be so. Talented Elena Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Huh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. What do you say we get out of here before we attract any more attention? present from Sir Francis. Ho oh, ho, oh, so you found the carbon. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. In the year 2007, the record-breaking Uncharted 2 named Among Thieves. As for the gameplay itself, Uncharted 2, like the, like the original Drake's Fortune, takes you with gunfights, environmental navigation, or puzzle solving. While a lot of the mechanics are identical to the first title, everything has been uh, blended together a little better, especially the combat and navigation. The first game generally had you walk into an area with a lot of cover set up behind the wall and then take guys out as, as best as you could. But Uncharted 2 offers a lot more variety and options in how these sequences play out thanks to the fantastic level design. Rather than fighting on a flat ground, uh, almost every battle scene features multiple levels and areas to use to your advantage. If you want to stay on the ground and take guys out the old fashioned way, you're more than welcome to, but you can even also climb to higher ground and use height to your advantage, or even flank the enemy by moving from cover to cover and changing your tactics as the battle unfolds around you. While the game is still very much a linear tale, 
taking you from point to uh, to another specific point you're offered many uh, more options in how you approach and deal with battles uh, one thing that plays a big part in this is the stealth in, is a much more well-known element of the game and it's actually a very well useful uh, tactic uh, to take advantage of uh, when you approach a situation if an enemy doesn't see you and you attack him you perform the silent stealth takedown Not only that, but the combat has also improved and uh, it nicely makes use of the character's climbing uh, abilities. The sequences were fully focused on navigating the world are usually visually stunning. And uh, some even incor incorporate moving bits uh, that make the player think about where he is. Now let's see it. And now we have Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. This game is the reason I play video games. I couldn't stop loving this touching, beautiful, fun and engaging game. From the moment the music swells on the title screen to the moment the credits roll. Uncharted 3 is a masterpiece. Uncharted 3's tale sounds familiar. We have the same cast of characters, one of them our hero Nathan Drake and his experienced mentor Sully Sullivan and the same general idea of a lost city that needs finding before the bad guys get there. That's, but is isn't like the games that came before. Chartered 3's greatest strength is its impulsiveness. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a three dollar bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well now, that's ironic. The main theme of Uncharted 3 is finding the way. Yes, the gameplay still revolves around climbing walls and shooting bad guys, but with Uncharted 3 everything improved. Drake has an uncanny, parkour-like ability to climb walls as if he were a monkey. The skill that we learn in this game goes back to his childhood. The colors, pipes, and bars always give away the parts of the environment that offer a path for Drake to climb his way out of a tough spot also allows you to study the environment and pick out clues that stick out like a sore thumb. Like yellow bricks or pipes for climbing, in this way the colors affect the gameplay. Come on, no time to rest. You are done for. For the first time, the words fun and useful describe melee combat. Uncharted 2's clumsy stealth parts no longer exist. Running through levels and taking cover doesn't get old, because Naughty Dog has done so much to merge the gameplay with the storyline. Perfecting and pacing and making everything look fantastic in the process thanks to cutting edge graphics. Edge graphics and excellent cinematography. The end product rises above what the buttons do and how you maneuver Drake, calling it a game sells Uncharted 3 short. This is an experience and a complete package. Uncharted 3 has wonderful graphics. I also like the camera views of the game. Makes it look like just like a movie. Get him. 
The hand-to-hand -hand combat is great too. The campaign has a great story and is very long. The multiplayer is also wonderful. You can customize your own person. There are many maps in it. This is truly one of the best games out there. The effect is so well done that you spend time just marveling at the detailed objects that are part of every colorful scene, like when you jump to a wire and a pigeon, and a pigeon just flutters off of it. 